in Germany, everybody pays Deutsche Telekom. Otherwise, your traffic just doesn't arrive there. You have packet loss. And we noticed that in the Netherlands, when Deutsche Telekom all of a sudden one weekend decided to reroute all traffic from T-Mobile Netherlands away from the Amsterdam Internet Exchange and peerings in the Netherlands, all to Frankfurt and other places in Germany. It was only 200 gigabyte, the gigabits of traffic. It wasn't a lot. It should have been easily handled, you know. The most the Dutch should have noticed was that their ping in a PlayStation game would have gone up by like three milliseconds or something. In a well-managed network, it shouldn't have mattered at all. The effect was that Deutsche Telekom didn't have any interconnections with the big Dutch networks. There was packet loss to the Dutch academic network surfnet of 30%. And the reaction of Deutsche Telekom was basically like, yes, well, then they should just buy transit from us. But Surfnet and every other network, you know, already had massive transit. They already paid for their internet. It was just that Deutsche Telekom didn't buy enough. We had parliamentary questions about it. And then after a week, Deutsche uh, T-Mobile Netherlands changed it back. Also because it completely broke their campaign for their new one gigabit offer, combined with unlimited mobile, for 50 euro. And everybody was like, yo, great that you have it, but if you can't do anything with it, why would I buy it from you? You know, it costed them two years to fix that damage in their reputation. 